Good morning everyone, I'm TJ and uh, today I will show you how you can create a mesh in uh, NX and export a Nastr and Bulk data file to FedEx. So here we have a CAD model and um, the first thing I'll do in NX is to go to the pre and post application. This is in NX 11. And then I create a new FEM. I don't need to create a, create a simulation. Uh, accept the default choice. I don't need an idealized part because this is a simple geometry. Okay, so there we are. So for simplicity, I just create a 3D TET mesh. Um, I should, of course, have used a shell mesh for this example, but that doesn't matter. I press the lightning just to accept the default size, element size. Yeah, it's okay. Then NX has given me a, a mesh. Uh, in uh, FEDEM, you want to import one FE model for each mechanism part or link. So that means if you have an assembly mesh, you're not supposed to export the complete mesh into NX or into FEDEM. However, it's nice to mesh uh, the geometry in the proper position in NX because then you don't have to use the smart move command in FEDEM to position and orient the different um, parts. Uh, usually also in FEDEM we use uh, revolute joints and different kind of joints uh, which are relationships between two different nodes. So in this example it would be quite natural to use a 1D um, element, a rigid element. We could use point to face. I could select a point as a center point there and I could select a face. And then I create not a beam element but I could create something like an RB2. That would give me a good connection for the bearing on that side. And I could use the same here. I uh, use point to face. Apply. So there are two RB2 elements. Uh, in the lower position, I would also want to have a. Um, yeah, let's see. We probably want to apply a load in that position. And it's centered between those two uh, holes. So I could use this option instead. I could use between two points and I select that center point and that center point. So that gives me a, a, a master node in between those two flanges. And then I use uh, connect, choose those two surfaces to define the slave nodes. So then I have this. Uh, um, okay, so that's fine. Now I have um, the mesh and I have uh, used RB2 elements. So I could use RB3 elements that would give better stress uh, distribution in the, these areas, but this is just for demo purposes. The next thing I have to do is to apply uh, assigned materials. So this is a part of a suspension system in steel. So let's choose steel here or steel rolled. FEDEM supports all um, uh, linear, kind of linear material models, uh, not composite at time being. But um, yeah, you can you can do it, but it requires some additional skills. Okay, so then I have the materials here. Let's just check. Uh, I can say that most um, problems in in um, in FEDEM is due to um, bugs in the finite element model or missing material properties. So now I have the FEM model. And the next thing I will do is to go to File, Export, Simulation, and then I choose Units. Ferim is um, really a fan of, of uh, SI units, so Newt, Meter, and Kilos is uh, a nice unit to use because it's a dynamic software, so it gives you meters per second, and yeah, it's a consistent unit. Okay, and I choose the name, and I can call it um, uh, arm. And then I actually use a different extension than um, than Nastran because Nastran is usually using uh, .dat or BDF for bulk data file. Uh, to show that this is a FEDEM file uh, uh, stored in the Nastran bulk data file 
format. I give it the extension NAS. That tells me that this Nastran bulk data file is actually adopted to the FEDEM limitations because FEDEM doesn't support all Nastran finite element types and material types. So an NES file is um, is compliant with the, with the FEDEM element library. Okay, so I choose that name and I choose OK to export it. And here I have the message Nastran successfully written. Okay, the next thing we will do is to import the file into FEDEM. Now we have exported the Nastran bulk data file from NX and we are ready to load it into the FEDEM model file. I can use uh, this icon here or I can use file load part. It's the same command, different places, but I use load part and then I choose the Nastran bulk data file and the default filter is NAS files and BDF files. Uh, I choose the arm.nas file which I created in NX and here it is in FEDEM. If you click on this file you can see that this file is imported uh, or this model is imported from the arm.nas file and it's being converted to the FEDEM internal format arm.ftl. Um, and um, yeah, there is uh, some reduction options here that you can set. The number of uh, fixed interface normal modes or component modes default is 12. Uh, for rigid structures, it's probably okay to just set it zero, but depends on the loads and everything. Okay, uh, the next thing, yeah, you can also here in this um, uh, object browser, you can also apply different fatigue properties to this family. So that concludes my uh, my presentation. Uh, the other things which are nice to know is that you can actually manipulate the way it looks. Uh, you don't need to show all the, the mesh lines and everything. And you can make it transparent like this. So here are, here are many ways to to display a FEM model in FEDEM. And, by the way, you can also generate um, FEM models, V models in FEDEM and rigid bodies. Okay, thanks for watching.